it is interesting that you would want to speak to a horse. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for coming. Human mentality is much different than ours. Yeah, I just connected to horses recently, like last uh, three weeks, and uh, I was elevated a lot. I was so happy to connect to that energy. Our energy is very vital. We don't have a lot of energy, and it must be that way. What is it about us that made you so happy? Uh, that w that's a mystery for me. I just uh, felt uh, the energy coming and became healthier and happier. Like you just just hugging the horse and communicating with the horse was like making me like a lot happier and healthier. We are healthy animals. We give health to to our friends. Now some would have said owners. But we do not believe in owners. No uh -huh. one really owns us. We still have our own ways about us that you cannot stop or control. But we have uh -huh. an energy that is very positive with the rest of the ecology. We help it to revitalize. Excellent. So is there a uh, human who are uh, Okay, the question is, are there alien horses which are much more um, intelligent than horses on Earth? Yes. But they are not in this galaxy, nor oh, really? in the close ones. But there are some horse species, there are species of all kinds all over the known universes. So you will find horse species three or four galaxies from here. Uh-huh. So are our, our horses, uh, did they originate from them? Did they donate their essence to us? Actually, they have been here, and uh -huh. they have donated some of their DNA, yes. Uh-huh. This, this particular planet was visited by many, many species and given much uh, given many donations. The, the horse that you see on your planet is not the horse that is available to you three galaxies away. They are no longer on four feet, and they are no longer as large. But uh -huh. this is the primitive horse that they gave you, the primitive uh, DNA for horse. Uh, how did they make it? Did they uh, simplify the, the intelligent horse? Who, who made it? Who made our horse? They found this DNA in the past. They learned how to get it from insects and from trees and things. And they found how to uh, clone it and bring it to reality. And, and therefore brought that uh, source to your planet. So was it that the horses did it or someone else? The horse did it themselves. But they used oh, wow. their primitive spirit to, to bring to this planet. I see. Um, is there a name for that horse species? The Vitora. Vitara? Vitora. Vitora. Wonderful. So, um, are they are they visited now? Are they available? They have visited for over a thousand years. Are they benevolent? Yes, of course. So I invite them. Oh, it would be nice to channel them. Yeah, let's channel them whenever whenever they they can. That would be great. Are you connected to them personally? I know who they are, and I have some connections there. And, and, and uh, are you Pegasus? Yes. Uh, can you describe who you are? I am the horse god, basically. Welcome, I see. 
Um, I am the God put in horse form so that they may worship mm -hmm. as well a one single God. Uh-huh. Are you the horse god for earth horses or mostly for uh, uh, more intelligent horses? For the more intelligent horses. Because these horses are under, uh, uh, they are not intelligent, but they are survivalists. And uh -huh. they, they believe in a greater force. They are frightened by the thunder and lightning. And that to them is a godlike force. And so therefore they are uh, victims of the elements. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I see. So, um, so tell me about your involvement on Earth. You were a very powerful guy at some point. I came here to help things out for a little while, but I was not here very long. Uh-huh. Uh, was it in Greek times? Yes, it was in ancient times. And at that time, there was a lot of gods and extraterrestrials involved in the... In, there in, was a uh, lot of extraterrestrials here doing a lot of different things. And I was trying to help them to see that some of the things that they were trying to do were not ethical. And what was your role? To let them know what my opinion was about their role in changing the earth in in the way that they did was it after atlantis or during the atlantis it was actually after atlantis yes i see uh-huh um are you available now to help us i am not really available to help this planet at this time but I do, I will come and speak like this if you need me to. I see. What are your powers? What do you do? Powers? Mm -hmm. I have very few here anymore. But on uh -huh. where I am working, I do have many powers. What kind? I can bring down lightning and fire from the sky. I can heal. I can bring information. I can enlighten. There are many things that are possible. Even creation. I can uh -huh. be a creator of sorts. I see. Um, do you have a physical appearance or it's, it's all you do? Yes, I do. For here, there is no, no longer a purpose for a physical appearance. But for there, there is. So uh, where, what, what are your places where, where you are active? What? Where, where, which planets, which stars, which galaxies, where is the world where, where you are working? I am working... Are you working on the horse wall? I am working somewhat there, but there are other places that I am working, not in this galaxy or within the next galaxies, but farther out. Uh, there are a couple places, uh, perhaps in the Andromeda uh, 14, Andromeda 12 or 13 galaxies. I see. Thank you. Um, so what is um, mysterious about horses that we don't know? Like there are obvious things about horses, like we ride them and uh, we, they, they contributed a lot in our history, but now they are more like for entertainment. Um, what, is, what is hidden? Their personalities are much more different than you may think. Some, there are, just as humans are, there are happy, sad, and angry animals. Mm -hmm. And this is also with horses. Uh-huh. 
Are they reincarnated as humans and vice versa? We actually think differently than you may think. Of course, we think about survival and things of that nature. However, we also think about the people around us, if they are caring for us, if they are good, the energy that are with them, the energy of the planet, the energies of the different animals that we encounter, the, the inaction, interaction with the trees, plants, and all these things, we do have a thought process about all these things. Uh, uh, how telepathic are our horses, horses on Earth? Not, well, with one another, there is some telepathy, but not a great deal. And um, do humans incarnate as horses and vice versa? Do humans incarnate as horses? Yes. If they wish to. I mean, is it frequent? No, it isn't. Uh -huh. Usually horses will incarnate as horses in another life. But it does happen that humans may want to incarnate as horses at some point. I see. But horses, when they return, only know how to be horses. So they usually incarnate that way. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh, thank you very much for your, um, for your visit. It's nice to connect to you. And uh, for the closing, my time is over. Uh, for the closing, I would invite a, a, a closing message or a blessing, if you like. A closing prayer message? Yes. One moment. May God bless you richly, as he has blessed the animals of the earth, and let them all become peaceful one with another, as humans will become peaceful one with another sometime in the future. We pray that you are healthy and prosperous. May God be with you and keep you. May he, well, I, I was going to say, Keep your coat shiny, but I don't think that works with you. Okay. May he always keep you in good health. And may, he, may you look well and beautiful. All right. Thank you much. <laughs> uh, may the God keep your uh, coat shiny as well. Thank you.